Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Isaac Mukhopo and as you can see behind me, I'm about to start the Otter Trail here in, we're starting off in the Titsikama Rainforest. It, we will be hiking for five days. We will be doing 42 or 43 kilometers in total and everything that we need on the strip we have to carry it on our backpacks um, so whatever weight that we're going to encounter um, is the weight that we have on our back so stuff like our clothes um, our food toiletries medication um, and any other necessities that we may have we carry on our backs So, two hours into our hike and if this is anything to give us an indication of what this um, five-day hike that the Otto Trail has for us, it's going to be absolutely fascinating. Uh, just have a look at this incredible waterfall here that we stopped at. Okay, day two, we are on our way from Ngubu Hut to Scott's Hut. It is about seven, seven odd kilometers. Um, there's two stops that we do want to take. There's a Blue Bay Beach and some rock outlook. Weather looks good. It's around 7 a.m gonna be hot today let's just see how it goes everyone's ready and eager to do this Woo! So we found ourselves a secluded little beach here on day two. We came from somewhere up there um, and this is called Blue Bay Beach. And let me just turn the camera to show you guys the surrounding. This is absolutely spectacular, it's raw. This is Blue Bay Beach.
And the best thing is that there's no one here um, except us. Absolutely no one around. There's no way to get here unless you do the auto trail hike. This is day two of our hike. Just have a look at that. Okay, so we just finished day two. Um, just arrived at Scott's Heart. And to give you a bit of a rundown, day two was extremely, extremely, extremely hard. Um, it was basically ups and downs and you hike up and back down and then you hike up a mountain again and as soon as you think that that is the last mountain that you need to hike up and down with, you look up and you see another climb and another climb um, that eight kilometers or so just seemed like it was never ever going to end um, but on the upside it was absolutely breathtaking I mean the landscape the views the rawness of this place is probably unrivaled so all in all it took us about we left at about 7 a.m we got here about 3 p.m um, that's what eight hours seven to eight hours um, to do the eight kilometers but like i said very steep uphills um, and very very steep downhills um, and i think we all felt it at some point or the other but we made it and um, the reward for all of that hard work and um, the hike was, let me just turn this here, um, our location for day two and our huts for day two. So if you see behind me over there, you can probably see one of the huts. Um, and that hut is right along the beach and this is the view we've got for for tonight um, right on the beach front no one else around just us just um, I think I think the reward was definitely worth the effort that we put in I mean just 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 look at this like if I pan 360 degrees around me this is basically where we are tonight trail day number three done and dusted um, today was tough not as hard as um, 
day two, which was an absolute monster, that that really, really finished me. I, I, I don't even want to talk about day two anymore. But um, day three was, um, it was challenging. It wasn't, it wasn't easy. Um, but, by the way, there's baboons here um, at our camp. But anyway, day number three, um, it was challenging, but it was probably the most scenic days. We were literally hiking along um, the cliff's edge and down to our left was the waves breaking against the, the walls of the, the mountains, the side of the mountains. And the views that we got were absolutely insane. It was really, really hard to um, to keep up to the pace that we wanted to achieve and the time that we wanted to achieve to finish um, today's hike because the views were just breathtaking. Almost every corner that we stopped at, um, we were just astounded by, by the nature, what we saw in front of us. So, day three done and dusted. It's gonna be short, I'm running out of battery life. Um, here's a quick view of the huts where we're staying at and I think it's called Andre Huts so once again we are right by the ocean here's the huts over here and we are surrounded by this huge cliff behind us and there are baboons in there that came we left our food out um, and baboons came to steal them so and they're quite big if I if I see one or two of them I'll try and get them on camera um, but yeah this is our location for tonight it's actually crazy I mean geez where else in the world can you find something like this no one else around but us absolutely we haven't seen anyone for the past um, four days it's just us hiking through this wilderness and um, we actually came from up there right up there um, and then we had to hike down we had to cross that the little river um, that meets the ocean it's this is the lottering river that we had to cross uh, to get to our base camp. The sun is about to set uh, in the next hour and a half or so. Um, yeah, I mean, what more can I say? This is just astounding, really. It's day four. It is very early in the morning. Um, we need to leave early so that we can make the Blokrans River crossing at low tide. That's how we leave in before sunrise this morning. That's our objective, to try to get to the Blokrans River um, while before low tide. It's very early, I'm very tired. Oh, the weather's good, it's not cold. Um, hiking without jackets.
Hello guys, so I just finished day four of the auto trail. Um, it was extremely long and um, not as difficult as day two and three, um, but just the fact that it was so long, I mean, it was 13.8 kilometers um, and it seemed to take an eternity. We got to the dreaded Blokkrans River um, an hour and a half before um, low tide and by then the water was already quite low um, but we just waited but by the time we crossed um, we wouldn't even use our survival bags or anything the water was maybe shin deep so that wasn't too bad um, but the last uh, four kilometers after that was absolute torturous in what seemed to take an eternity. We left pretty early this morning. We left at about three, between three and 3.30. Um, so the first part of our hike was in the dark, uh, which was very nice. Um, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't too cold. It was a hot day today. Um, so the hike was nice and almost refreshing. We got to see an amazing sunrise, which hopefully I'll show you guys. Um, but other than that, just happy to be here at our base hut for tonight. It's our last night here. Ah, sad actually um, to be leaving. I mean, what an experience. Um, but I'll summarize the whole experience um, a little later. Just quickly, because my battery is running down. Um, this is location of tonight um, this is where we are I'm standing on our porch and behind me is literally we are on the ocean um, it's actually crazy but yeah that's day four long tiring hard feet are sore um, but yeah I made it so, on to day five, tomorrow. Five days of hiking, we've come to um, our first glimpse of civilization. Okay, behind me is Nature's Valley. You can start seeing the little town. Um, and this is almost the end 